Exe. I saw in you what someone once saw in me. Something that can't be taught. The makings of a Kingsman. So what's it like getting back into this film again already? Here we are at the, the Golden Circle. Fans love the first one. What's it like stepping back into that role? I suppose I feel partly as if I've never been away. It's actually becoming lifestyle now. You know, this, this, this seems to be what I do. And I would love that to continue. It's, uh, I've never been involved in this genre before. If you can even call this film a genre. Uh, it's, um, and the space between the first and the second one wasn't, wasn't that great. And the amount of preparation is, is so enormous. Uh, it's beginning to feel, I suppose, like one big project. I hope you're ready for what comes next. You're up there, though, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the Statesmen, where do they fit into what's going on here in the Golden well, Circle? Well, you know, the Statesmen, uh, they're sort of the uh, American version of the Kingsmen. You know, Kingsmen, their front, their Secret Service uh, Agency, and uh, their front, they're a t tailor, really, you know, and they dress very spiffy. The Statesman front, we're brewers. Welcome to Statesman. As your American cousins, we'll be working side by side. I played tequila. I was a rodeo clown before I became a Statesman. Drinking, fighting, dipping, cowboy. <laughs> That's about it. I play a spy named Agent Whiskey. I use a whip, I use a lasso, I use guns. I'm a badass. The Kingsman. They're like these like suited and booted like spies. They're, it's all kitsch and fun, yeah. and I, I actually love it. I'm like, yeah, what, whatever you want me to do. All my family in Alabama are going to freak out that I'm in like a giant hat and belt buckle and, and boots. They're like, my Uncle Bruce is going to lose his mind. I'm like, he's just going to be like, I knew you had it in you, boy. I'm like, this is going to be, it's going to be Cowboy hat, boots, and name like tequila. This is sounding a lot like Magic Mike a little bit to me. <laughs> I don't think I wore boots in that movie. Though. I mean, you never know. It could go either way. <laughs> That's probably the only thing I didn't wear. I didn't wear a lot, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> Very American. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was just a straight fan of this one. Like, fan fan. Like, I mean, when it came out, it was just so fresh and new. And, and for Matthew, he's so specific about his casting. For him to go find Taron and just make him complete unknown, like, just be Eggsy. It was like, I don't know, just a, just a breath of fresh air. Matthew made a just a style of a movie. We talk about it a lot. Like, he, he's like, I made a movie that there are no rules. And he's like, as soon as you make a rule, he can break it somehow. So I don't know, I just want to be a part of it. That was it. I, I didn't think he would ever want me to be in a movie. But uh, I was like, all right, bartender, tell me what to do. Like, I, I was just like, waiter, I was like, I don't give a shit. Just, just let me be in the movie. I like it. I dug uh, the original. Just being a part of that, I remember um, my wife and I saw it. And uh, like most movies I want to see, I want to know as little about them as possible. That's why this is kind of challenging, talking to you guys, because I don't want to give too much away. But with The Kingsman, you know, I heard it was good. I, I didn't want to read any interviews or anything like that. And uh, it just washed over me. You know, my wife and I looked at each other and said, "Wow, that was the best James Bond movie." We, you know, that kind, that genre. Yeah, you it must know. be cool oh. as an actor to play that kind of a role. Oh yeah. So then, when it came around and I was invited to join, you know, I, I said, "Well, you know, and is, it, who's directing? It's Matthew Vaughn, the original guys. You know, Colin and Taron are going to be in it, and we got a whole new batch. You know." We got Channing Tatum. I'm a big, huge fan of his. You know, Halle Berry. We got Maud in there. You know, Julianne Moore. Come on, I'm there. Yeah. James Bond action movie spy mm. thriller as oh, an actor wonderful. it must be incredible. Well, it is, and and because it is not too earnest, I don't think. I would have been invited into a genre like this if it had been straight faced. You know, it's funnily enough, a few offers have come in for action type roles, Jerry action type roles, as someone um, uh, offered. Um, without a sense of humor, they don't quite work for me. You know, I think it has to have its tongue in its cheek. Oh my god. I think that Matthew Vaughn is an artist in terms of entertainment. I think that he knows how to, how to put us back into a movie theater and be, and have a blast, you know? And be a little like, you know, uh, caught off guard, entertained, but also shocked and, um, and, and just kind of on the edge of your seat in terms of, 
um, not even necessarily what's going to happen, but like what music is going to play, like what what how ironic is it going to be, how how brutal is it going to be, all of that stuff. Yeah. And so um, he hasn't done a sequel before, and and so he's just getting to expand on his own invention. So imagine, and he's crazy. You know he's crazy. Manners maketh man. Do you know what that means? <laughs>